So welcome to the world of the singing show. Let me make you sing and you taste buds when all we want for you to see is how we living in a blessed country. Welcome guys to the Singing Chef Show, the next edition with Eon, John, me, and the TBN crew. Right, now today we're going to be doing another, another episode about a recipe that you can add to your Christmas table if you want to. We don't want you to change your Christmas habits. We love Guyanese food, especially at Christmas. So this is just an addition. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing sweet and sour spatchcock chicken and we're going to be roasting it in the oven. So this, I mean, you guys used to buying your, um, your sweet and sour sauce and getting it for, you know, when you go to having like a, a nice Chinese or something. Um, I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade sweet and sour sauce with a few simple ingredients. Let me turn this fire on first. Wish me luck, thank you, it's done. Right, tiny bit of oil. My, my wife would tell me no, but yes, tiny bit of oil. And then basically, these are your ingredients, right? Um, there is apple cider vinegar, pineapple. You can use one cup, okay, it's gonna make a difference. Let me just start over with the ingredients, yeah? Yes, well, I don't always get the portions yeah, right. It's, it's, it kind of gets distracted. If she's trying to tell you something, but you can't understand. Yes, it. I can't understand. Just start, okay, come on. Right. So, with a few simple ingredients, you can make your own sweet and sour sauce. Now, we got one, one cup of um, apple cider vinegar, one cup of ketchup, one cup of sugar, one cup of, you know, roughly diced pineapple. You can possibly use like another fruit, like apple or something like that, but really pineapple is the thing if you want to make sweet and sour sauce. If you use another fruit, it'll be something else. Right, and we just got some corn flour that we put in in the end. Um, there's half, a, half a, of a tablespoon of black pepper, about a teaspoon and a half of, of, um, of uh, what do you call this, of our weary, weary pepper, and then here, We've got Chinese allspice. That's a full tablespoon, right? So all we're gonna do is kind of get this into the pan before it gets too hot. Okay, my lovely pan. I'm gonna start with the pineapple. All right, and basically all we're doing is cooking this all together, right? The sugar. All right, Chinese allspice, black pepper. Really, really, the ketchup. This is going to go more of like a brown color and not orange, but uh, I, I want to keep it natural and it looks better on the chicken anyway. This when the orange color comes from food coloring, which not, not all food coloring is bad, so it's just, it's just not necessary. Right, there's my apple cider vinegar, and it gets this lovely brownish red color. Then we're gonna put the water in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes, and right at the end, we're gonna add the, the corn flour, and that's gonna be the thickener. So let's let this cook, and then we're gonna start on, I'm gonna show you how to spatchcock a chicken. Okay, we're gonna prepare this chicken now. 
I'll show you how to take it out of there. This is called spatchcocking, right? And I'll show you how to do it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the backbone. Okay. All right. This chicken is about three and a half pounds. And it's good to know because when you put it in the oven, it's usually around 20 minutes. Uh, I for one pound. Okay, let me get this out. All right, you go right through that backbone. All right, and you just cut away. There you go. Do the same on this side. There we go. All right, I can go there. And you see when you go in here, there's the, this is the breast. You want to remove the breast bone. You want to remove just a little bit of that, just stuff that's messy. Then you want to take your knife and you want to This is good. There we go. It just—it's just a neat chicken, a neat spatchcock. A lot of people leave it in. I prefer not to. All right. All right. That's nice and clean. have it. That's our spatchcock chicken. Well, beautiful. So what we're going to do <coughs> before, this is really good. Let me just get a bowl from here. Best way to marinate it is just put it in a bowl. And then we're gonna put the uh, then we're gonna put the skewers through it. So welcome to the world of the singing chef. Let me make you sing and you taste buds when all we want for you to see is how we living in a blessed country. Yeah. Well, this sauce looks like it's about ready. So let's let's put some the cornstarch in there. And as you know, that's a thickener, so perfect. Lovely. I mean, just let that cool and that'll be ready to put on the chicken. And we're gonna start our sweet and sour chicken. So we'll be back after this cools. So welcome to the world of the singing show. Let me make you sing and you taste Country. Yeah. Okay, well, we're here with um, Melody. Can you state like your whole name? So, Melody Thomas. Oh, um, no, that's can't. my artist name. Uh -huh. If you're the government, you can call me Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're doing like a series of interviews. Um, we're just getting to know people. Mm -hmm. And you know, like we're here for um, you, people have like come back either they were born here or they just come basically choose to come to Ghana and live and it's not just because of the oil it's just that Ghana is just it's going up on the up and up there's so many amazing things I mean, that I are happening expect, I didn't expect uh, to come back to Guyana I, right I didn't actually I grew up in London right. I left when I was about two years old right so I'm, I don't know anything about Guyana at all right. I used to visit quite frequently but that doesn't mean it's not the same as living somewhere going on holiday do you know what I mean yeah and then, um, I decided to come back for a few reasons. One being that I wanted to know more about my home, mm -hmm. where, where my family's from. 
I wanted my kids as well to experience Guyana and that side of our, our lives because they, they, they were born in the UK. So yeah. they have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, and apart from that, it's like there's a feeling going on right now mm -hmm. where Guyana's progressing. There's so much things that's happening, you know, and there's so much room for growth and so much room to start businesses and a whole bunch of stuff. So I thought, right. let me come home and see how it is and yeah. I don't regret it. Um, your, your field, I mean, what do you work in? So, obviously, I'm a singer-songwriter. Right. Um, that's my love, my passion, yeah. my career. But yeah. I'm also a marketing executive. Um, I deal with social media, right. marketing, promotion, and uh, a lot of royalty management and publishing for artists as well. Right. All right. So, yeah. so, I mean, how are you finding Ghana now? How are you actually think, finding it? Like, we're getting there. I'm not going to say everything's perfect. Uh -huh. like, enough, it, it's never going to be absolutely perfect. Yeah. But I think we, as a collective, as a Guyanese people, realise that we need to step forward, mm -hmm. you know, in order to show our positive selves, our positive light for Guyana, especially with all these foreigners and, you know, there's a lot of spotlight on us and things like that because yeah. of many reasons. So, yeah. yeah. So, what's your favourite thing about Guyanese Christmas? Food, obviously. <laughs> obviously. That's, like every That's like a silly question. I mean, in the UK, Christmas is great. Yeah. But come on, it's like we, we always have the regular. It's the yeah. turkey, it's the yeah. roast spuds, you know, the Brussels sprouts, uh -huh. the, the gravy, the normal stuff, you know. But over here, it's like a different, there's flavours. Yeah. When I tell you there's flavours. Yeah. That I was yeah. Like, not been used to. <laughs> um, I think one of my favourite things is pepper pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you don't oh, wake up, favorite, so. if you don't wake up on Christmas morning and have pepper pot, there's nothing wrong with your household. Mm -hmm. I would literally leave home. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, that's one of my favorite things. That they have garlic pork, uh -huh. which I discovered over here. I didn't know that you could pickle pork like that and that's from it. the Portuguese. You know, we got that. Right. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I mean, pepper pot is from somewhere else, isn't it? Or is it from Amrindan? It's from well, yeah, because they use it to preserve their wild meats. They've been doing it for hundreds, maybe thousands of years. Oh, okay. And when you know, then we added Indian spices and mm. and African spice. We just added our thing to it, and it turned it into a national dish instead of just Amrindan dish. And it's right where it should be. You know, where every pretty much. 90 something percent of Guyanese mm -hmm. will be like, What's your favorite dish? Mm. Christmas time, pepper, pepper pot. pot and breaking that bread. Breaking that bread, there has to be fresh bread too. Has to be, yeah, no, 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 yeah. Don't bring me a tennis roll or sliced bread. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. need to smell that bed, the bread the, yeah, 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 yeah. before I have that. So, yeah, 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 that's a must. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, Melody, what what kind of are, are you able to do your music here? Do you find that 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 you're able to you finish your album? Aren't I mean, able to... I, I released my album um, just as I got to Guyana, which was three years ago. Right. In terms of the music industry here, it, I wouldn't really call it. A, it's a baby music. Industry. Yeah, yeah, it's a baby. It's a baby music industry. I mean, coming from yeah. the UK and doing music abroad, I've done release music in the US as well and in um, Canada. Mm -hmm. and it's a different vibe. We we are just getting into understanding what it is to really make money as an artist yeah. in terms of publishing and royalty. There isn't that availability here. And where can we reach you up? Can you find your music? So you can find me everywhere at Melody Thomas Music. All oh, right. Okay. So YouTube, Facebook, yeah, yeah. TikTok, everything. Are you doing any shows? Um. So I haven't. Got, I've done some shows over the summer, right. but for the rest of the year, I am working on a few collaborations. So. Okay. We'll be doing shows until the new year. Okay, cool. We look forward to that. Definitely. And I wish you success and everything like that. Thank you know, you moving so forward. And, uh, nice I positive. A nice duet, maybe in the future. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, oh, no you. problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. is just right let it cool for about 10-15 minutes 
And then it's time to marinate our chicken with the sweet and sour sauce that we just made. First, I'm gonna just, just pour loads of pepper over it. Front and the back, or back and front. Just get it all over. I like to pour the sweet and sour sauce on the inside first. Like this. Right. Right, and then just let it fill out the bowl. Now what we're gonna do is just let it sit for about 20 minutes. And then we'll, about 10, 20 minutes, and, and just let it soak into the chicken. It's a really special flavor, I'm telling you. And when it's roasted, it actually roasts really dark, even though it looks like it's lightly seasoned, it's not. Just really, really soaks into that chicken. So let's let that rest for about 20 minutes, and then we'll be back and we'll um, skewer it up and take it to the oven. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, now I think that's marinated enough. Let's take this baby out. Now we're gonna spatchcock it, which is just skewering. Before you skew this, we'll be Oh, yeah, sorry. But let's do that again. Let's do the whole thing again. I'll just move it and then, yeah? Okay, let's get this baby out and skewer it. Uh, let's just move that. And these are our skewers. What we want to do is go crossways. So it's through the thigh. And try to get mostly breast meat. And then you come out the other side and you go through the wing, right? So that you can really stretch it when you put it in the oven and keep it flat. Same thing here. Through the thigh or through the leg. Beautiful. Now oh, that's worked out beautifully. I like it not. Okay, I think we're in business here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a little tray here. I always do it where it's not sitting on the actual pan because it'll just burn underneath and that's what you don't want to. And the rest of your sauce, just pour it over. Like that, right? Now this will go in the oven at 180, and because it's about three pounds, three, three and a half pounds, um, 20 minutes a, for 20 minutes a pound, which you would say, if you're doing maths, that's about an hour, 20 minutes, right? Well, hour, 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this inside, and we're gonna put it in our oven, and uh, it'll be ready in uh, probably about an hour, 20 minutes. Okay, let's go, Mrs. Uh, Mr. Spatchcock. Up to the oven. Mmm. Ooh. Looks like we've had quite the weather today. Woo! Here we go. Mr. Spatchcock. 
right in there. Oh, okay. 180. Leave it at one hour, 20 minutes. And we're done. So welcome to the world of the singing show. Let me make you sing and you taste buds. When all we want for you to see is how we're living in a blessed country. Right, well, today's song is like glass, and it starts out, the first line is, it's Moorish. And uh, today's meal, our, our um, spatchcock sweet and sour chicken, is Moorish. Well, it's Moorish. Sitting there drinking when I could be on the sofa doing the same Watching the game, watching the game I'm scoring more brownie points My little girls think I've always been around My they love daddy, they love daddy, yeah It's the turn of the nuclear century Everybody knows this is the place to be The place to be the place to be Look out for that money Cause only be has been you, honey Nothing that you think will be Forever will be there When you need a big old man Size keeps breaking in your hands Like glass breaking hearts When you need a little more you right down to the floor, oh, 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 like that, breaking hearts, like that, breaking pieces. It's a turn of the Everybody knows this is the place to be, the place to be, the place to be. Look out for that money, cause only be has for you, honey. Nothing that you think will be forever will be there. When you need a big romance, size keeps breaking in your hands. When you need a little more, got you down to the floor, oh, 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 like glass, breaking hearts, like glass, breaking pieces, like glass, breaking hearts, like glass, breaking pieces, like glass. Thank you. <laughs> so welcome to the world of the singing show Let me make you sing and you taste buds When all we want for you to see Is how we're living in a blessed country Yeah Okay, Melody Yay Favorite bit Yeah, my favorite bit for sure Ah <sighs> Sorry, mate, you just pulled out your. <laughs> <laughs> okay. White or dark? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, remind me, what's this called again? This is sweet and sour spatchcock chicken. Spatchcock chicken, yes. Because it, took, it didn't take too long. No. no quick no. and easy. It's quick and easy. And this is exactly what you want at Christmas. It's quick and easy. So I can have this along on my Christmas table with the rest of the oh, yeah. bits of bobs. Oh, yeah. I look at that press. That's oh, so that is absolutely perfect. Okay. And you can have this, you can have this with there you go. 
and the nice of forks over there. You can have it with rice, you can have it just with chips, you can have it with just anything. It will just go along with everything that you've got at, at your table, at a Guyanese table. This will go really perfectly and it will be something a little bit different. Let's take the crispy bit, I like the skin bit. That will be yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like, yeah, yeah. I like the skin bit too. It's gone completely through, and it's really tender. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, that is so juicy. Yeah. yeah. That is really tender, and you can get like the sweet and sour, but it's right. not too much, not over sweet. Exactly. Exactly. You know, but it just it's like a, it's a different type of different type of chicken. You know, it's um, you know, you used to roast chicken and you know, well, fried chicken. But this is just kind of really gives you something. It's special. Huh? That is amazing. I love that. Well, Melody, thanks for coming on and talking to us and tasting our food. Mm, um, and we would like to thank you guys for tuning in and. We want to tell you that you know it's been really been, been a good thing, you know, to see you guys back, and that we're starting. You're joining us on our new parts of our adventure with with TBN, and we are like to start, thank all the staff there. Like I'm gonna get better remembering everyone's names, but our cameraman, our P our A and R, the CEO, the manager, they're like this. Everyone's so cool. We're gonna do great things. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. So welcome to the world of the singing show Let me make you sing and you taste buds When all we want for you to see Is how we living in a blessed country Yeah